Okay, fine, I'll bite. Let's talk about the new drone, the DJI Avatar. What's up fam, Rahim here and welcome back to my drone channel. I say drone channel because there'll be a new channel for RC car enthusiasts coming up soon. Now I'll mention a bit about that at the end of the episode, so do stay tuned. Okay, a bit of disclaimer before we begin is that if you are into surprises, you better click away because there'll be a lot of info about the DJI Avatar. Okay, beginning with a bit of story time is that when I heard about these leaks, months ago right that was actually the schedule of what dji was going to be coming out that was the mini tree and also a mini fpv drone now mini fpv hmm and so i thought about it for a while and i speculated that it was going to be a whoop drone this is the gap rc cinelock 25 and this is a whoop drone where you have all your propellers ducted in a sense that there are bumpers right protecting all the props this was the same type of drone that was used in that awesome one take bowling alley scene that video went viral and cannot be DJI didn't want to capitalize on that demand they already have great camera drones they brought digital FPV system to the DIY enthusiasts they created their own FPV drone which was the DJI FPV and that was really reaching out to the masses and I still think that's the most complete FPV drone package to the consumer now you can watch that video right up here or you can wait till the end of the episode I'll put a link right there so all boxes checked but one what's left is an FPV indoor drone so guys that's where the DJI avatar comes along avatar avatar whatever tomato tomato recent leaks about the DJI avatar drone have come from the drone excel website so let's just head over there and let's talk more about the drone quick disclaimer here is that whatever you see in this site is to be taken as rumors and speculation because DJI themselves have not officially announced or released this drone yet so you gotta wait out for that take whatever information you have with a pinch of salt if it's gonna help you to decide whether you want to get this drone or not okay here are some leaked photos of the drone now this is a front view interesting that um, from what I see the camera has a hood kind of design similar to that of the DJI FPV from what I recall the information mentioned is that it's gonna come with a 1 1 over 7 inch sensor same as that of the mini 3 drone so that's gonna give some awesome images and also it will be in a DC light color profile the gimbal seems to be a single axis so I bet there is gonna be uh, electronic image stabilization and also horizon lock similar to that of the DJI FPV so here is their new ducted airframe also serving as propeller guards it also has landing gear built into it now um, I'm looking at it and I noticed that there are screws here so that means that this panel could be removable um, my thoughts are probably it serves a secondary purpose like the DJI FPV where their landing gear is also where the antenna is and similar to the DJI FPV a bottom sensor system if I recall in the earlier leaked images this was a three bladed prop now they have gone with a five bladed prop um, personally on my CineLock 25 it's running five bladed props also and it's much quieter and also highly efficient and similarly DJI has gone with um, two bolts here instead of their pop-in pop-out kind of locking system now here's a better view of the front of the drone and it looks like it seems to be a modular kind of frame now um, that should also allow or help the consumer to do their own repairs instead of needing to always send it back to DJI I mean yeah lah, some would look at it more from a hobbyist point of view that you'd want to tinker with stuff then there's also the other end of the spectrum that you may not want uh, to tinker with it and leave it to DJI to do any of your repairs um, we already know that this is going to be the battery at the back so what's left in this zone is going to be the mass of the electronics be it your um, if cooling system if there's any your gimbal and then also your GPS going to be in this zone I would say actually it is a handsome looking whoop because um, kind of compared to the DJI FPV now that fella uh, mixed feelings about that lah uh. but this in itself uh, looks good even the battery looks similar where I know that I'm going to be using this notches here to depress and detach the battery this guys is something interesting okay from what I see here it looks like soft mounts similar to that of my scene lock 25 where the camera zone is separated from the main body itself the reason for that is so that you can isolate the vibrations from the motors to just this area instead of traveling up to the camera and then you'd be having the camera work very hard to stabilize the image okay let's see how that assumption turns out 
Okay, so here's a top view. Um, this design actually, guys, is very common for a lot of Wook drones. Nope, this is not bottom view. This is also the top view, but it's now without the battery and the props mounted on. Okay, so rear view clean enough now the battery looks very similar to the dji fpv where you, of course you have your on off button uh, click once to also check the battery levels now this is the part that i'm saying similar because the the way the the power cables are mounted and connected to the main body is just like the dji fpv battery ah okay so here you see that they're selling the drone as a stand alone with just the uh, charging hub cover some spare screws and also spare um, props okay i'm making assumptions here but it looks like you can just buy this as its standalone kit the most basic kit so what does that tell me in itself is that probably right it is for the existing dji fpv users who want to upgrade and have this drone um, um, additionally where you can also hook it up to the goggles v2 wrong yeah goggles v2 and also your dji fpv controller okay but um, let's move on and that will make sense a bit more as we go along okay same kit just from a top view with the propellers all off and also the battery uh, taken out ah this is their another one of their kit where you could also buy the drone um what do they call this kit oh okay the pro view combo with dji goggles 2 oh that's a high price tag so um yeah this is the goggles 2 not the goggles v2 this is the part that i find very confusing now it may just be me but i am very sure that many others will be just as confused because the dji fpv goggles come in version 1 and version 2 version 2 being the upgrade and mainly came with the dji fpv kit now you have this set of goggles which is totally redesigned and then you go call it goggles 2 hmm makes me wonder also like okay so is this like an upgrade another version or the bigger question here is that what else can it link up to can it link up to my dji fpv i'd like to know that this is a good touch they have your lens covers uh, this strap single head strap versus uh the, the type of spider web kind of strap that really wraps around your head because a lot of dji fpv guys um wrong owners of the dji fpv goggles tend to change to single straps like this because it's definitely much more comfortable personally for my own choice is that it doesn't mess up my hair okay simple as that what else coming with this kit is your power cable now comes in a um this kind of what, what you call it spring kind of cord okay good touch to that because a lot of us were uh, a lot of us were complaining about the cord being either too long or you just don't know what to do with it right so yeah coming in this kind of form is a much better choice your then additionally there's your dongle this hoop i know what it is for it is for your motion controller so now this kit this version of the kit right the the pro view combo is coming in with the uh, motion controller now motion controller is not able to control manual mode so it only tells me that at, at this stage if you were to get this kit you can only control the drone in normal and sport mode but they have recently confirmed that you can also be flying it in manual mode okay so yeah that is yet to be experienced uh. i have no idea what is this okay nope another angle and i still don't know what is this is this supposed to for you to put dog tags or something if i were to make presumptions about what this is i'm assuming it's slightly clips for your um lenses okay for those of us that like me uh, without your glasses you are blind right then if your glasses cannot fit into these goggles then likely these are for you to make a um, custom pair of lenses to clip into the goggles itself hmm, nice touch ah okay so here we come to the kit which is the fly smart combo which comes with the dji fpv goggles v2 and this head strap that i do not like so now i'm curious as to why you are including two type of goggle versions which are both also coming with the motion controller 
equates to both are going to be FPV but only in um, sport and normal mode so where is your main controller right uh, your, your typical RC controller okay motion controller doesn't look any different it's the same design as the one that DJI FPV um, is included in the kit okay so here is a previously leaked image where they showed this drone kit coming with um, the goggles too and also the motion controller this is the dji avatar battery because the mounting is different definitely not the dji fpv battery and also teasing us with the uh, dji fpv controller how that pans out um i believe there shouldn't be any issue to pair it with the drone because we've already seen a confirmed image of a guy flying this drone with the DJI FPV controller so I'm curious to whether yes the controller pairs but will the controls be exactly the same where you have your uh, moto start stop and also the choice of normal sport and manual mode with a flick of a switch okay that's about it but um, I'm just gonna mention to you some of the specs so as mentioned it will be coming with the same one one over seven inch sensor to that of the mini 3 drone so that's where you'll expect that the video quality is going to be just plain awesome it's likely going to be coming with electronic image stabilization which is going to be just like their rock steady where you'll get smooth footages from this FPV drone and also I'm hoping to see horizon lock which will allow you to fly the drone like a camera drone right like a Mavic or like a mini um, even though it is essentially an FPV drone now they talk about flight times of about 18 minutes that may not seem so wow because compared to the mini 3 series where you can easily go above 20 minutes 30 minutes but the thing here is that whoop drones in itself my Cinelock 25 only flies for about five to seven minutes so having three times more the flight time is gonna be awesome right i think that is what um, dji has really um, gone smart about their systems are really efficient but of course that's at the cost of there is gonna be a lack of speed i do believe that their sport mode is gonna be slower uh, considering that it is gonna be um, what i think is gonna be a mainly indoor kind of flying drone or close proximity kind of drone so there shouldn't be a much need for all that high speed but if of course you turn it up to manual mode now that's gonna unleash much more speed now that's the thing manual mode uh, we heard that it didn't come with it but as of recent talks recent rumors that it will be coming with manual mode and like I said especially that now it can pair up with the DJI FPV controller I do hope to be able to fly this drone in manual mode how would I fly this drone I do hope that because now it has manual mode it will also have similar training wheels like the DJI FPV okay guys I think this episode is getting way longer than expected I always want it quick but I end up talking too much right so let me give you my thoughts on who you are and what kind of kit you should be getting okay so if you are the average consumer you this is gonna be your first time getting into FPV I suggest you get the kit that only comes with the goggles and also the motion controller right now if you are an existing DJI FPV pilot then likely you would want to get just the drone itself because like I said it seems that you can pair it up with your um, your current DJI FPV controller and your goggles uh, the goggles V2 now what am I gonna be getting I likely will get the drone the goggles 2 that kit all right the reason for that is kind of I am very curious as to what the new goggles have to offer right um, I think I shouldn't have any problem linking up my drone to the uh, DJI FPV controller probably I can do a side-by-side -side kind of review and also I have all these different different options for me to go and mix match and then give you guys more of an opinion about the different kind of kits more content on that so do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out okay i do want to wrap this up but here's a quick mention to the rc truck enthusiast because you guys have been asking for more rc content but i also know that i need to keep this 
channel as a niche drone content but if you guys are also interested in RC car and truck racing bashing and also crawling now you can go and head over to that channel I leave a link in the description and also at the end of this video now I'm gonna really wrap it up now if you like this video do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already chat with me I'll get back to you as soon as I can pilots as always I'll see you in the skies peace